Czech company Excalibur is currently modernizing old T-72 tanks for Ukraine. These tanks are mostly old T-72 tanks that originate from ex-Warsaw Pact countries, like Czechoslovakia and Poland. The plan is, or at least was, to modernize 90 of those tanks. But now, apparently, Morocco agreed to donate 30 of their T-72 tanks that were supposed to be modernized by Excalibur to Ukraine, increasing the total number to 120 tanks. But not all tanks will be delivered at once. It is expected that 18 tanks will be delivered by the end of 2022, and hopefully the rest during 2023. And 5 are, allegedly, already on their way to Ukraine. Of course, it would be best for Ukraine if all those tanks can be delivered as soon as possible, but the problem is that the fully operational tanks have already been sent to Ukraine before, and the tanks Excalibur is working on right now are mostly tanks that have been sitting in bad conditions for years, even decades, and need a deep refurbishment in order to be operational again. Some of the workers said that it is almost like building a completely new tank. Now, what does this modernization include and how good is it? Well, we unfortunately don't know much about the modernization program, since it is classified. What we do know is that they implemented a thermal imaging system for the gunner, added a new communication system, which means modernized radios, and some sources list new engine and transmission, while some list only the new engine. And of course, there is the addition of the explosive reactive armor. But as I said before, we don't have the details. We don't know the actual thermal imaging system being used on the tank, but I assume it is at least second generation thermal, which is obviously a good addition to the tank. We also don't know what engine they are implementing into the new tanks either, which sucks. I wonder if it is true that they are replacing the transmission, will the new transmission fix the reverse speed, or at least make it tolerable. But some sources don't even mention a new engine either, so it seems like most of it is down to speculation when it comes to the upgrades for mobility. Now what about the explosive reactive armor? Well it seems like the ERA in question is the old Contact 1, but since a lot of different explosive panels can fit inside the Contact 1 blocks, I'm not entirely sure which one it is. Contact 1 is just the best guess. But looking at the pictures of the finished tanks, it seems like the ERA coverage is pretty poor on the hull. There is a massive gap around the towing hooks, even bigger than what we usually see on such upgrades. But it is possible that they just haven't mounted extra ERA on that area temporarily, since we can see what looks like mounts for ERA without any blocks placed on top of them. But even if ERA blocks are put on those mounts, the area above the towing hooks would still be exposed, which is not a good thing. The turret coverage on the other hand is pretty decent, and it seems like they went with the T-64 BV style coverage on the turret. But those tanks are still the old T-72 tanks underneath, T-72M and T-72M1 tanks, which have pretty obsolete armor protection. Together with ERA, they might stop some old threats, but anything newer would go straight through. That is, if it is in fact Contact 1 ERA. All in all, these tanks appear to be decent enough for the current conflict. I believe the addition of the thermal site is the best thing they did in those tanks, especially since a lot of tanks that both Russia and Ukraine use don't have that kind of luxury. That would be all. If you like my content, you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.